What if your prayers can save a soul? Our scene of the day today is St. Caesar de Bess. He was a French soldier who had grown up in a very pious Catholic home. Uh, as a soldier, he went to he went to Paris for three years, and while there, he went he lived this kind of crazy life, stepped away from God, stepped away from the church, um, and then came back home. While at home, on one of the days where he was, um, he was walking by a shrine, and he saw this light there, and he remembered he was taken by this memory of a friend, her name is Antoinette, who had prayed for him, and she prayed for him a lot. And so uh, he decided that he could no longer live a life of sin, and he converted. Later on, he became a priest, and he started um, to preach catechism to families, which was really needed at the time. He also founded a religious order. Very notable thing about him is actually Antoinette. I really just want to talk about her because when I first started reading the story, um, it didn't. Uh, I didn't realize that there was someone, like a particular person, that had prayed for him. So I started thinking to myself, who could have possibly prayed for this man that he just converted? Who did that? And then I, re you know, I kept on going and I saw her name. And tell you it's, it's an amazing thing to know that your prayers and my prayers can actually help someone now we expect God to work on our timing but the thing is God doesn't do that so yes we say the prayers and sometimes it takes years okay for God to say okay well I heard your prayers but uh, love is patient and I had to be patient with this person as I was transforming them I was converting them as I was making sure that they fall in love with me so um, if you're struggling with that, if you're praying for someone, keep on praying for them. If you know someone that you think, oh my God, like this person really needs God, well, guess what? It's probably your job to tell them about him, to tell God about that person, to pray for that person, right? Because sometimes we can't talk to these people. Um, you know, maybe it's someone on the media that you see and you're like, well, how do I read to that person? Well, you don't, but the Holy Spirit does. The Holy Spirit connects us. So if you find someone on TV when you're like, I just wish I can, you know, I can see that person and I can tell them about God, um, or if there's something that you see and they don't see, well, pray for them. Tell your guardian angel, tell Christ, tell Mary, and uh, have faith. And little by little, you'll see God working in their lives, or you won't, but you'll have faith that God is doing that. Because even even if we pray for the, that person and they only change on their deathbed, well, yeah, what more do we want? The man on the cross next to Jesus, well, he was on his well, death cross, really, and he converted. And so don't doubt the effects of your prayers. Never doubt the effects of your prayers because God is using you in some way or another. That's it for today. Don't forget to like, to share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.